Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm taking down this tree here. It's a dead standing tree. Uh, people call these man killers or widow makers or whatnot. And there's a good reason is when you're cutting these things down, you don't just have to worry about where you're cutting, but also pieces of the top perhaps spontaneously falling down and hitting you, uh, which is uh, made all the much more tricky if you're wearing hearing protection. So I've got mixed feelings about it. I think, in fact, in fact I'm not going to be wearing the hearing protection for this. I'd rather damage my ears a little bit and not die. So I've got a notch on the back side of the tree. I've got this brace, uh, which I cut specifically for this purpose, up against the tree. And I also use that to get a chain around the tree. And there is a uh, come along uh, uh, set against that hemlock over there. There's a lot of tension in there already. As I was tensioning it up, uh, I could hear the tree cracking. So I think it's ready to go. So I'm just going to cut uh, above the notch on this side. And I think it'll go right over, but there's a lot to fall. I mean, pieces of the tree, this thing, I'm going to have to get out of here as soon as it starts going down. So, uh, enjoy. Oh, there's a little pre-show here. Oh, my shoulder's been bugging me, too. It really only bothers me when I do this. a movie so far is it? Try again. I keep almost poking my eye out with that. Yeah. Oh, come on, I just had this thing running. You know what? I bet this thing is out of gas. I bet I stopped it just as it ran out of gas last time. That's what it feels like it was out of gas. Let's try another take of this. Okay, so I got some more bar oil in here and some more gas. I didn't put much of either in because I'm just doing this and then I'm done and I'm convinced that this thing kind of leaks when I'm not uh, using it. So here we go. Try again. See if that was it. Yeah, it sounds like it was it. Oh. I don't know. Let's try again. I think the problem is I'm recording this on video. I can't recall the last time I had this much issue starting this thing up. Oh, it's so frustrating. Uh, it's just firewood and debris all over the place here because I can't convince anybody else to help pick up firewood. So I'm tripping all over it because I, uh, I think it's a terrible use of my time to pick up firewood when I could be doing something that only I can do. But uh, it's, it's a tough sale for everyone else living here. So, it's just a lot of stuff to trip on. And it's super hot and sweaty and buggy. Okay, let's see. So the tree next to it caught it. That's why it didn't go down. Uh, not a huge deal. I stopped because I don't want to cut all the way through. It could kick back and hit me down here. So what I'm going to do uh, to be safe is walk under the tree and finish it up with that, uh, uh, that winch cable and get out of the way when it starts to fall. Or I could just wait for there to be a windstorm and it'll just knock it out on its own. It's not going to fall this way anymore. So maybe that's not a bad idea. Just let Mother Nature do it for me. The wind almost always blows from there. 
<sighs> well, wasn't that fun? Okay, I, I came up with an alternate idea. Um, tree on the left is the one that's cut. Tree on the right, just next to it, is keeping it from falling down. What if I just cut the tree on the right? It would all, the weight of the tree on the left would help to push the tree on the right down the direction I want it to go anyway. So I think that's a good idea. I just got to watch myself down over here. I'm going to try that though. By the way, I also have a little bit of vertigo. It's so hot out. needs a, a whack and then it'll be safe. You don't want to leave trees up like that because someone goes underneath then they decide to fall at that exact moment. <sighs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>